Hi folks, Kevin Friendly. Right, today I thought I might as well show you an overlook of my workshop I've been working on. So, this workshop I've been working on is just for me, and um, yeah, it's been a long time. Long time when it oh, come in. So, I started this in, I think it was 2020, if I remember rightly, when I started some bits on this. It's changed, <laughs> it's changed quite a bit with what it was. Right, the rucksack, to start off with, was a Northern Ireland style rucksack. What I mean by style, it's not the real thing, okay? It was just a copy of that rucksack. So, basically, it means valid, these two side pouches, and there was molly on the front here. That was it. All there was. And all the add-ons, as you can see, up here, there, there, I did myself. I added it on because I thought I used it, I put things in it, and I didn't like it. As you notice in one of my other videos, I've shown you something of what my friend wanted, and she took me to get rid of it, she asked me to get rid of it, so I did. And then I bought solid, I'm going to do one for myself, and this is what I come up with. So. Shall we begin? Right then. If we took the camera down. I am losing my laptop by the way guys because the for some reason the SD card slot will not accept SD cards at the moment. I don't know why, I've just got to get that fixed. So let's get started, shall we? Right. As I said, these two came with on the website as well. But these five did them. That one. That one, that one, that one, and that one. These three, that one, that one, and that one, is Molly Don. These two are Molly Don. I put some Molly strap, a Molly system on these two, and I Molly put Molly these on, and now I've sewn them on permanently so they can't remove, they can't move, and I can't get rid of them. These three are still Molly Don. I'm not going to well, I'm not going to saw them on permanently just in case I want to change that pouch or that pouch or that pouch. I can in the future if I need to. And on the back of these three, there is another set of two pouches. These were a utility style pouch, what I like the look of, but it was a square. It was it didn't fit any other stuff what I wanted in these pouches in. So. I took off the backs and I showed them off. So yeah, I like them a lot because one of them I've got fire stuff in it. One of them I've got extras, um, like oh, I'll just go for it later. I'm not going to go for the content today. I'm just going to let you know that that is just I think it's um my cordage is over a little bit on the top of the lid on the side here. I added another. Pouch, as you can see, yeah. As well as down the bottom, I've added another. I've added a tension strap so the whole thing can be tightened down. So I've added one of these on either side. I've added my lovely back system, as you can see. What I really do love. Me. Needs to be a little bit more better set up, but it still works. It's just like this as it gets jammed up here for some reason. Right, right down, boom, up the lid. Here, I've added extra webbing. As you can see, there's no straps and no belt on this rucksack because they completely come off. So, yeah, as you can see, I have added power cord on both sides. So on the power cord there uh, is a shotgun belt, as you can see right there. On both sides, I added that because it, later on you'll see why. At the top here, I've added another little pouch where I've just stuck my signaling kit in, in there because then I know where it is and then it's quick easy access. If I Turn around again, face the front again. 
I've added this pouch. There was technically two pouches here. There's one there and there's one in the front there, a nice slim one. Yeah, I've added a cobra clip to every single pouch. What needs a cobra clip? I've added this here. It's not waterproof, it's just water resistant. It's something my one of my late friend, one of my late mentors recommended. I've added a mesh pocket. Every zip, oh no, yeah, every zip and every pull, whatever you want to call them, these. I've added fire cord as well as a ferro rod toggle. Um, oh yeah. At the very bottom, I've added another one of those lid pouches here, as well as again some molly webbing. This is the same thing, but there's a sleeve pocket here. The pocket for that bit opens up there. As you can see, more shotgun belt, but that's not really being that's not really a necessity. It's as you can see there. I've added some more molly. I've added some cordage between them two, so then they don't, so that one don't drop into them two. Yeah, so that's all the modifications I've done. Oh yeah, and I've added molly there. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, I oh yeah, and I've added a glow tab there. So yeah, but this video is a bit long. But I just wanted to show all the modification I've done to my rucksack, and it's a first look on my rucksack. And um, yeah, I'm liking this rucksack a lot. I haven't used it once yet, I can admit that. I'm not going to lie on that. But I've walked around the house with it, and it's comfortable. I'll show you the belt system on the next. And um, so, yeah, I'm hoping you like this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And please share this video if you can and if you don't like the video please put the thumbs down please tell me why so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon bye, -bye.